the heating, ventilation, air conditioning, refrigeration, and plumbing class here at the Career Institute of Technology. My name is Kevin Pulley. I've been an instructor here for about 22 years. Uh, our program is basically a three-year course where we teach you the basic skills the first two years and hope to get you out in a co-op situation your third year. Uh, a co-op situation is where you would go to your home school for half a day, say the morning, and then you would go right to work for a prospective HVAC company in the afternoon. The class focuses its attention on hand tools, power tools, gas heating, oil heating, cooling, blueprint reading, hydronics, air distribution, basic electricity, uh, piping skills, and EPA regulations regarding refrigerants and refrigerant usage. Certifications you can earn here are EPA Section 608 Refrigerant Usage and Handling. Uh, that is a national certification uh, that must be obtained to work with refrigerants. Uh, also, Career Safe OSHA, and we work on American Ladder Institute Ladder Certification. Career Outlook for HVAC. Uh, it's pretty cut and dry. There is as much work right now out there for HVAC people as you can handle. Uh, ultimately, it's up to you. If you want to work 16 hours a day, uh, almost every company I know right now has those hours available for you. Uh, it's a matter of how many hours you want to put in and how busy you want to be. As far as what can you do in the HVAC industry, it can be as simple as uh, being someone that is a helper or someone that installs ice makers or someone that is an ice technician for a place like uh, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms if you've ever been to a professional hockey game. Uh, so the career itself is what you want to make it, what your ambition is. However ambitious you are, it's just a matter of how many hours you want to put into what it is we're doing here. Entry level positions in uh, my career field, anywhere from 12 to $18 an hour. Uh, if you've been in the field for a few years and maybe now you're considered a technician, uh, you can range between $18, $30 an hour. And again, this industry is unique in that uh, we work day and night every day of the year. So when it's hot outside, we're outside working. When it's cold outside, we're outside working. Uh, when it's nighttime and equipment breaks down, we go fix it. We don't wait until morning. That in itself keeps us busy. In addition to someday you may say to yourself, hey, I don't want to live in the great metropolis of uh, Bangor and uh, move to uh, somewhere else in the country or somewhere else in the world. The good news is the skills you learn here, you can take with you to that location. They have heating, they have air conditioning, they have plumbing, they have refrigeration uh, in all parts of the world and uh, certainly all around our country. Uh, one of the uh, unique projects we do here at uh, CIT is a student-built house where the students and I uh, participate in putting in the plumbing, heating, and cooling at a house off-site that is then sold to the public. Uh, that's pretty unique uh, because 10, 15 years down the road, you may be married and have children of your own and say, hey, look, I built that house when I was in high school. It'll still be there. People will still be living in it. Uh, so it's a pretty unique opportunity for people that stay in the area. So a typical day at uh, CIT um, is a little different than the school you're coming from. So it's not like sitting in Mrs. Jones's class at Easton High School taking English 101 where we talk about uh, whatever, adverbs this week, and then we have a test at the end of the week. Uh, we do have a classroom where we have plenty of instructional time, uh, but it's kind of learning your pace here. Uh, if you don't get it by the end of the week, there will be plenty more opportunity uh, to continue on with that task 
or that skill and uh, to perfect it. Again, we're here for three years, three years uh, talking about a group of tasks that are entry level that we want to perfect. Uh, so a typical day is uh, we come in and maybe we have anywhere from 15 to 30, 35 minutes maybe of uh, instructional time in the classroom. And we come back out into the lab environment here and then we work on uh, whatever it is we were talking about. Uh, I have a furnace behind me that's actually lit up burning right now. Uh, that was installed by a student and in sections of uh, tasks that we were learning about. In a nutshell, this class is take a brand new piece of equipment out of a box and hook it up start to finish. Uh, I have a real good example right here of a piece of equipment um, that a student basically took off of a pallet and installed uh, soup to nuts. Uh, everything from electrical to gas piping to exhaust piping to building the ductwork, installing the ductwork, insulating the ductwork, uh, you name it. If you can learn or obtain those skills to do those things, you're going to be in good shape when you go out to start a career. Uh, if you have more questions, I could talk and go on for hours, but I won't. Uh, please look at the end of the video and visit the Zoom for our virtual open house. I'll be on a Zoom for two hours and I uh, would be glad to answer all or any questions you may have regarding the HVAC class. Have a good night.